This is a Vision 5 single board computer. It has a RISC-V CPU. In order to create an embedded Linux operating system for this device that runs the software that you want when it boots, you would usually have to use a build system like Yocto Linux or Buildroot. But today, I'm going to show you how you can do the same thing with Nix instead. Although building the operating system for the board is a generic procedure, this video is going to focus on some of the Vision 5 specifics, such as flashing a new bootloader to the board. To follow along, you'll need a Vision 5 single board computer, an RS-232 USB to serial adapter with DuPont cables to plug into the GPIO of the board, a USB-C cable to power the board externally, and Nix 2.9 or later. Attach the RX, TX and ground wires of the serial adapter to the GPIO of the board. Make sure that you don't deliver any power to the board this way. Colors can differ between serial cable manufacturers, but I've only ever seen power delivery indicated by red or brown, so avoiding these colors is usually a safe bet. Fire up dmessage-w and monitor it whilst you plug the USB serial adapter into the machine you plan to use for development. It will show up in slash dev, and the kernel log will tell us what identifier it has, such as TTYUSB0 or TTYUSB1. Now, we're totally prepared to flash our own version of U-Boot to the board. The reason that we should need to do this is because the Vision 5 ships from the factory with a version of U-Boot that makes assumptions about the partition layout of the SD card that we're going to boot. But because Nixos wants to follow the distribute standard, we have to flash a version of U-Boot which respects this standard. So in order to do that, we're going to run this single Nix command. Be sure to specify the device path like slash dev slash TTYUSB as the first argument. So Nix is now cross-compiling U-Boot and OpenSBI for RISC-V. This action is reproducible across any Linux distribution as long as you have Nix, and it will not leave any files scattered around your home directory. I did this on my laptop and it took around three minutes. So once U-Boot and OpenSBI are cross-compiled, you'll be asked to apply power to the board externally, like via the USB-C power input. The payload is now uploading to the board via X modem. I noted earlier that this is reproducible anywhere, as long as you have Nix, no matter what distribution you're running. So I put that to the test and went to see my friend Paul, who has an Arch Linux machine. I wanted to see if this all worked the same way on his machine. So Paul, what do you think of Nix? It's excellent. That's simple, yes. Uh, I run it on my laptop and it never lets me down. So, after that five-star review, let's try the same procedure on Arch and see if it works. Attach the board via serial, Nix run my repo, let it cross-compile, apply the power, and we're done. Okay, now let's get to the fun bit running software on the board and defining all the behavior we want on boot in just a few files in the Nix expression language. The first step is to clone my repo, which I've named vision5-nix. It's basically a template for working with the board with Nix, and it's the same repo that provided the flash bootloader script we just demonstrated, but it also provides ways to cross-compile a whole NixOS configuration for the board. So what is a NixOS configuration? It looks like this. This is the Nix expression language, and it's making use of the NixOS module system, which has tons of options that allow you to program how you want the OS to be, such as what services you want enabled, or how you want them to interact. For example, here I enable the Avahi daemon, so we can ping the board via MDNS when it boots. Then I enable NetData, which is a data logging service that gathers metrics about the system and puts it on a web page for viewing. I enable SSH, so I can log into the board. I set the host name to vision 5 nix so we can ping it by that name. And if you want to connect to Wi-Fi, you simply construct the following attribute set, networking.wireless.networks.the name of your SSID .psk equals your password as a string. I'm also importing another Nix file from the examples folder, which has contents similar to this. For example, here's how I launched the Mosquito MQTT broker with a configuration that specifies it should allow anonymous connections from any client. And here's how I launched the Sway Wayland compositor on boot. To build this, all you need to do is nix build images.vision5-cross and everything will be cross compiled for RISC-V into an image that you can flash to an SD card and boot on the board. 
When the next build is complete, the SD image file will be placed in a folder in your current directory, literally named result, which is a sim link to the slash nix slash door. I would recommend doing this on a beefy machine though and copying the results because compiling all this software will take time. Once you have the compressed image file, you'll want to uncompress it using unzstd, then flash it to an SD card with DD. Plug the SD card in, apply power, and you should end up with the cage Wayland kiosk example that I've included in the import at the top of the configuration.nix file as an example on boot. Now all that's left to do is to play around with the configuration.nix, rebuild, and see what else you can do. You can go to search.nixos.org and click the options tab at the top of the page to browse all of the configuration options you can toggle. As a disclaimer, it must be noted that RISC-5 and even the drivers for the Vision 5 board in the kernel are under heavy development. Even though this video makes it look easy, there is a lot of work going on in NixOS to improve support for RISC-5 and cross-compilation, so you'll likely run into issues compiling some software. But despite that, I hope this video demonstrates how powerful the Nix approach can be. If you do find an issue compiling for RISC-5, submit an issue on Nix packages and someone, maybe even you, will submit a patch for it and make everything better over time. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe and tell me in the comments what other kind of videos you'd like to see.